Note to listeners, unless otherwise stated, the slides in this presentation are client-facing. Hello, my name is Steve Keniston, Business Development Executive for the IBM Storage Software Portfolio, and I'd like to take a few minutes of your time to talk to you about IBM's modern data protection portfolio and how it can help protect IBM Cloud Packs and our forward-looking statements about our protection integration around IBM Cloud Packs. Let's begin. First, I do believe by now that all of us realize that hybrid multi-cloud is the new normal for most all data centers. 94% of enterprises today have hybrid cloud models mixing public, private, dedicated, and countless SaaS applications. This trend will continue with rapid growth in all three flavors of cloud through at least 2020. And 67% are using a mix of multiple cloud vendors, each with their own proprietary tools and management systems. All this while enterprises continue to make significant investments in traditional IT. This new hybrid multi-cloud reality creates not only new opportunities, but also new challenges for IT leaders. 82% are concerned about how they will connect all of these clouds with traditional IT. 73% need better ways to move apps, workloads, and data between these clouds more effectively. And 67% worry about how they will manage this new mix of clouds and environments in a consistent way across vendors without introducing new security and compliance risks. Even for those looking to aggressively move more to the cloud today, it will be a journey. The question is, how do you accelerate that journey today? So what is an IBM Cloud Pack? It's a set of enterprise-ready container images that are orchestrated by Kubernetes to implement common services for logging, security, access, and management, enabling the images to run on any cloud, anywhere. Think of it as a containerized application that you would run anywhere. IBM Cloud Packs have replaced ICP or IBM Cloud Private and foundationally all run on the Red Hat OpenShift container platform. There are currently six IBM Cloud Packs. Cloud Pack for Applications, Cloud Pack for Data, Cloud Pack for Integration, Cloud Pack for Automation, Cloud Pack for Multi-Cloud Management, and this is where IBM's modern data protection capabilities fall, and the latest IBM Cloud Pack for Security. And there are two deployment options, IBM Cloud Pack System and IBM Cloud Pack System for Data. Now you can see here, IBM Cloud Pack for Multi-Cloud Management is highlighted, and I called it out above where IBM's data protection solution specifically plays. IBM's Cloud Pack for Multi-Cloud Management enables clients with multi-cloud visibility, governance, and automation for an integrated management solution. Note to listeners, for more in-depth education on IBM Cloud Packs, please see the education in your learning under Journey to Cloud, IBM Cloud Packs. Cloud Packs provide the industry's richest catalog of IBM open source software containers and feature runtimes and the orchestration capabilities for automated deployment with enterprise grade configurations. The IBM Cloud Packs run on top of Kubernetes based container orchestration platform that enables high availability, scalability, and ongoing maintenance for enterprise applications from a source you know and trust. The software solutions run the client's choice of infrastructure that includes IBM Power Systems, and today a host of IBM software support the cloud packs, including IBM Spectrum Virtualize, IBM Spectrum Scale, IBM Cloud Object Storage, and supported by IBM Spectrum Protect Plus for data protection. These software components are not fully integrated with any one cloud pack today, but will be over the course of the next few months. Specific IBM data management solutions will be integrated with specific IBM cloud packs. Please stay tuned to see which application is integrated with which cloud pack. Now when it comes to protecting the container workloads in the cloud packs, the focus needs to be very similar to protecting traditional workloads. There needs to be a focus on the application data first. Application data needs to be copied and moved to secure storage, and the protected copy must be crash consistent and application consistent, such that on recovery, the applications are ready to run. Also, just like in the virtual environments, there needs to be some level of integration with the specific storage APIs to be able to execute the proper storage functions. 
In this particular instance, snapshots. And finally, just like virtual environments, integrating with the solution that manages the virtual machines, such as vCenter for VMware, integrating with Kubernetes, the management of containers, is crucial. It is even more important for container environments as more of the data management and protection is done through Kubernetes rather than a traditional backup solution. IBM provides a modern data protection solution that integrates all of these capabilities into one suite to allow clients peace of mind when it comes to securely and seamlessly protecting their data. Another note for listeners. For more information on container-based backup, please review the micro-learning on Smarter. In today's instantiation of Spectrum Protect Plus for backing up Kubernetes containers, the Protect Plus application and vSnap server are installed outside of the Kubernetes cluster or cloud pack. Spectrum Protect Plus is connected to the Kubernetes cluster and containers through the SASE interface. Spectrum Protect Plus takes advantage of the CSI, Container Storage Interface Driver, to take application consistent snapshots of the containers and the snapshot is placed in the vSnap repository for protection and retention. The rest of the Spectrum Protect Plus capabilities exist for offload to other storage, including tape for both long-term retention and cybersecurity. In a future release of Spectrum Protect Plus, we will containerize the Spectrum Protect Plus server and it will then be able to be deployed as a part of the IBM Cloud Pack for multi-cloud management. This will provide direct integration of data protection into the IBM Cloud Pack for multi-cloud management with Spectrum Protect Plus. As we continue to move forward and support more applications, there will be tighter integration with the Cloud Pack for application and Cloud Pack for data. As we have richer functionality for application consistency, we will be able to support deeper data reuse use cases for containers integrated with the IBM Cloud Pack management framework. Enhancements to Spectrum Protect Plus for containers and cloud packs will include OpenShift 4.3 beta support and OpenShift 4.4 production support. We will containerize the SPP server such that the cloud pack for multi-cloud management can be deployed with Spectrum Protect Plus integrated into the cloud pack. We will have Red Hat and IBM image certification for the SASE application, which is the application that connects SPP to Kubernetes, the data mover, and SPP containers. We will have the ability to protect Kubernetes cluster metadata, and we will update the SLAs for persistent CSI snapshots with optional copies for snapshots to the vSnap. Hopefully, now you can see that clients can have a data protection solution integrated with virtual machines and container data protection that is tied to existing management tools and provides monitoring and automation support. Again, my name is Steve Keniston, and I want to thank you for your time for listening to this presentation on IBM Spectrum Protect Plus and its integration to the IBM Cloud Packs, providing data protection for the IBM Cloud Packs. If you have any questions at all, please do not hesitate to reach out. Thank you.